Well, I can honestly say it gives me the greatest pleasure to welcome you all, wish you all a very good morning to this the very very first ride since the beginning of lockdown it is now the 14th of may this is the first ride i've not touched the bike since my last video my last biking video which was the 20th of march the last video i made was a couple of days before lockdown and i said there and then i'm not touching it until the government said that we can lead by example and all that but also it saves yourself from being tormented if you think you can or you can't or inshallah shan't inshallah i just thought nope that's it and the garage door is firmly closed until we're allowed to well last sunday boris eased the restrictions very very slightly to include and has been checked motorcyclists being allowed out for a leisure ride however far you want to go as long as you don't leave the confines of England it's not as if we haven't got anywhere to go um, Wales still not lifted their restrictions Scotland still not lifted their restrictions so as long as we behave and um, pay attention be careful we're allowed to go out so as you can see I'm on my Todd I'm not uh, meeting up with anybody and neither should you be doing if you're out for a ride really even though it says you kind of can meet one person it's just going to confuse a load of people. It's just better if you ride on your own. As much as I'd, I'd love. I've not seen Gaz or Egon, obviously. Genuinely, I miss them both like crazy. I can't wait to give them both a kiss and a cuddle, genuinely. Anyway, I've rambled on too much before the intro, which is not what I normally do. So let's get that intro rolled and uh, we'll be back for a chat after. Ready? Whoop. In fact, no, 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 scratch that, scratch that a minute. I'm going to let one of my friends lead us into the intro. And it's a new leaf I'm turning. It's a new page, new chapter. And this is going to be my mindset from here on out. Because I know, even though I've just told you that we've got um, clearance from Boris to do exactly what I'm doing now, I still know there's going to be those people. There's going to be those people that kick off and moan about it. I have... I have stood by this to the T. I've not touched the bike. I've, I've purposefully not gone anywhere near it. I've, I've not really posted anything about it. I've been recording music every day. I've taken my mind off motorbikes and put it into music because I don't want to torment myself. So even though I followed it to the T, I know that those, there's, there's a few of you, there's a few of, there's a few of you that like to poke and Piss and moan. So I'm going to let one of my very good friends, fellow musician, lead you all into the intro. And if you've got kiddies about, close their little ears for one second. After the intro, there'll be no more of it. But Laura, take it away, my friend. I don't understand why people take the time to write on other people's posts. I don't like this. If you don't like it, fuck off. Problem solved. Anyway, friends, good morning. Very, very, very good morning and welcome back. I'm so happy to be able to bring you videos on the bike again. Oh, oh honestly, it has been really getting to me as I'm sure it has been getting to everybody well as a creator uh, genuinely really honestly I'm only happy when I am creating um, that's why those of you that have been um, watching I'm sure you've not missed them because I've been doing them every single day I basically at the very beginning of lockdown I thought well I can't I can't offer biking videos. My first plan was to revisit uh, a load of old videos. Nope, scratch that. Again, I'd be tormenting myself on the bike. So, scratch that. What I can do is sit in my garden and uh, share my gift of music to you. Might not be for some of you. I know a load of you has been enjoying them, so thank you very much for listening to them. But I decided the first day of lockdown, well, I'm going to record a song every single day. Whether it be a cover, original, request, I've been doing loads of requests. 
So basically, yeah, I've just been sitting in my garden, drinking bloody bourbon, far too much bourbon, and recording songs every day. So that has kept my creative mind happy. I think if I'd have not have done that, I'd have been strug I'd have struggled. I really would have struggled. I have to have some form of creative outlet. But anyway, yeah, thank you very much, genuinely, to everyone that's been commenting and uh, leaving nice compliments about uh, my lockdown songs. And yes, I, I hope to actually turn that into an album at some point. Because, you know, it's weird how, you know, as musicians, you, you, you go out and you gig all the time and you kind of get a little bit blasé or whatever, you know. Oh God, I've got to load all my stuff in again, play to an audience, blah, blah, blah. We do, we do this all the time, by, by the way. All the time. Me and my, my band, we gig all the time. Anyway, you're looking at all the stage stuff now in the garage. I just think, it, it seems forever ago that we loaded the van. You know, bear in mind this is something we do all the time, regularly, week in, week out. It's just, uh, it's just quite bizarre, actually, that um, all of a sudden we find ourselves in this new in this new uh, world I guess but yeah it's done me the world of good and uh, again I even even though I've been playing with the boys we've been doing some um, collaborations we've loved doing those I've been doing a lot of solo stuff mainly solo stuff but uh, we've done a good few collaborations as well which has been brilliant because it makes you um, it blows the cobwebs off should we say you know there's a good few songs that we've played and recorded that we've never ever even played before so when you can do that behind closed doors from your own home and knock out a fully gelled song, it's fantastic and, and yeah, it feels really good. Anyway, off the music. Oh, I missed this bike, I've missed it. Really, really missed it. But again, when, you, when you've got time on your hands, things can happen, can't they? And your mind starts going... So, um, I've always said I've been asked a million times um, about the American tour. I've been asked a million times, oh, would you ever do it again? And, I, and I've said loads of times, it's a once in a lifetime trip, that. It's expensive, it's, um, it's, it's massive, it's, it takes its toll on you, you know, and there's all the, all the months of editing and everything afterwards anyway. Since uh, it's beautifully quiet this morning, as it should be. Since we've been in lockdown, and oh, sorry, I digress. I've always said it's a once in a lifetime thing, but I would love to do it again. I would really, really, really love to do it again because it was special. Different, but again. And I've always said, you know, jokingly, when I spoke to people about it, oh, it's only a glass of whiskey away from being planned again. And Andy, who came on the USA tour with the white VFR that went tuk, 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 tuk. had a game of Skittles with it, Domino's. <laughs> Morning, Andy. Andy's basically. He's been chomping at the bit to do it again and posting videos on his own channel, Velocity Viking, check it down below. Posting videos on his own channel, like sending, um, not not pleading videos, but yeah, pleading videos almost. Anyway, uh, I said to him in a, in a conversation a couple of months ago, you know, uh, I said, oh mate, I, you know, I'd, I would, I'd love to do it again. It was very special. It's made lifelong friends between, you know, me, Andy, Albie, Graham up in Scotland, Egon, of course. It's, um, I said, you know, it's only a glass of whiskey away from being planned again, mate. <laughs> and then I got, I got bloody UPS turning up with a full bottle of whiskey for me. Andy, Andy had sent a bottle of Glen Morangy and said, right, is this enough of a push? And so I thought, you know what, if you can go to the trouble of buying me a, a nice bottle of whiskey, then sod it, I'm doing it. So, long story, but yeah, I've, um, Plans are now in position to do it again. Shipping company have been contacted. Um, routes have been drawn up, or the, you know the beginnings of a of a tour, which I always do. I don't know how uh, you lot plan tours, but what I do, I get a list of POIs, points of interest, um, stick them all into the map so I can see where they are exactly, and then I turn that into a route that works geographically. And that's how I start to fine tune and pinpoint, you know, the route and uh, where we go. But anyway, yeah, I've um, I've done a new route completely based on the same I 
based on the same um, Toronto Vancouver even though that might change it but taking in more of the deep south Louisiana Alabama and all that down there New Orleans Twisted Sisters in Texas traversing up by the Rio Grande Laredo and then back up to what we didn't do before is uh, obviously the California coast again if we can and then uh, Yosemite across the Yellowstone and then up back into Canada through the Banff National, National Park and then back out of Vancouver or out of Calgary but anyway early days it's going to be the back end of next year hopefully September 2021 but yeah the wheels of industry are turning it was a much loved series that and um, yeah I'd love to make a better one for you I would love to and on that note obviously as I said they're expensive it's an expensive tour but it's um, it's what I do and uh, it's uh, look at this what a morning oh what a first morning to get back out on the bike Um, yeah, it takes time and a lot of time and money um, and I thought it's now high time, take this how you wish, to set up my own Patreon account to help with all things, you know, production. Keeps fuel in the tank, uh, I've, been, I've been asked to do it loads of times and for ages but I've never done it, it never felt right. I've never had a, I've never felt the need or want really to create a patreon account for for those of you that have asked before or offered help in any way um, and now you know since getting this USA thing back on track I thought okay well let's see let's see if we can you know get some help and assistance from from you lovely lot to uh, you know to stick away for to help with them um, you know tour costs and uh, production costs so yeah, Patreon is set up. Head on over if you want to go and have a look. Patreon.com slash Richie Vida. There's a few different tiers. Well, I'm not going to bore you with it. Go over and have a look if you want to have a look. If you don't, don't. Simple. But yeah, I would appreciate it very much if you would decide to help. I've got myself a nice little flask in the um, top box. I've got a couple of apples in my tank bag for my breakfast. And we have the open road with its arms stretched wide waiting to give us cuddles <laughs> so we shall collectively embrace that but yeah folks if you are out and about just please please do be careful take your time and um, you know most of us have not ridden for two months so we're going to be rusty. I'm always rusty if I've not ridden for a while. And not to mention us being rusty, other motorists might be rusty. So just be very careful and keep your wits about you. Probably going to be a lot more gravel and crap on the roads, so watch that. We're far from being in the clear. We've all done a mega sterling job so far. So if we all just dig that little bit deeper and keep it going, and we'll get through it, we'll get through it and then we can start to go back to some form of normality thank you to all those that have um, been showing support for the Wild Bad Weekend at WW20 as you know it's set and tickets are now on sale for the end of July and I've, I've had quite a lot of tickets uh, bought during this lockdown so thank you for the confidence ladies and gents and I said, I don't know, I really don't know what's going to happen with it. We're just governed by Boris. Whatever Boris says goes. And up until now, you know, we, we, we're still, what, mid, we're in mid-May and we've started to lift restrictions. End of July is still quite a way away, so we could be alright by then. Fingers crossed we shall be alright by then, but worst case scenario if we if uh, you know we're not allowed to have um, gatherings that early then we'll simply postpone it 
anyone that's bought tickets, all your money is safe. You're not going to lose anything. And then we'll, we'll reschedule if we have to. I'm not taking any stress on board with it because there's no point. It's out of my hands. If it's on, it's on. At the moment, it, everything's uh, all good to go. But if the worst happens and we have to cancel, uh, we have to postpone, then we shall postpone. Till, you know, back end of September or something. But what I will say is that if we do get the go ahead, then tickets will fly because everyone, myself included, is chomping at the bit to, to get together and, and socialise and, you know, have a drink and have a kiss and a cuddle and, and uh, you know, just be together. We're all desperate for it. Even if it means us all wearing masks, I don't care, as long as we're all together. And we probably will have to wear masks now, I don't know, it might be, that might be the normal thing for, for the next couple of years, you don't know. You know, when we're all together, we might, we might well have to all mask up. Which is fine, absolutely fine by me. And in fact, these, um, joking aside, these wild bad neck scarves, I can't see it, is it over my nose yet? Um, these wild bad neck scarves are mega comfy and they're perfect for it, that's all I've been using. Sticking, uh, you know, going shopping with me uh, wild bad neck buff on. It is a little bit fresh, it's minus two. Minus bloody two. That means it's going to be a stunning day today. Well, it's already a stunning day. I might treat myself some uh, grip action. I don't know why, but I never seem to stick these on. I've got them, I never, never really use them. We've got our PCOS trip booked in... Um, October, I don't know if that's going to go ahead. Obviously, uh, abroad travel, don't know if that's uh, allowed. What was Again, everything's on Everything's on until it's off, if that makes sense. And I don't mean to sound obvious, but I mean, everything's on in terms of um, planning and, and organising, that's all on. Until the government say, <coughs> then everything is going ahead as planned. I stop somewhere and have a nice cup of tea. I've got a flask in my uh, top box. But yeah, going back to riding and, and being out now, you know, we're not in the clear, nowhere near in the clear. And uh, most of us will be rusty, so just just enjoy being out on the bike and not, not um, riding like a dick. Yeah, my hands are freezing. I don't even think I've hit the VTEC on this this morning yet. That's how steady. I'm riding. Plus, it's not been running for two months, so... I'm going to have to have a cup of tea just to warm my bloody hands up. Christ, it's minus three! What's it doing? I didn't know it was going to be this cold! Bit of a straight line squirt. Right, am I going to be on my own? Let's hope so. It's a, it's a nice spot, this is, but... I know I'm, I'm quite early, so it shouldn't be anybody here. Here we go, here we go. Just me and thee. Just how I like it. Time for a cup of tea and a warm up. I've got a full-on uh, COVID beard <laughs> going off. And while I might be giggling, I am not being blasé about COVID. Don't make me fetch my um, friend Laura out to tell you off again. I'm not being blasé about it, obviously. Hey, it's lovely to see her out of the garage. Still a babe. She is still a babe. Yeah, the, I can't even sit down. All this bloody ice everywhere. All right, cup of tea time.
cup of tea time. Yes. You can't beat flask tea, can you? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't sit down anyway. I don't really want to sit down on anyway. You're not really supposed to be touching things, are you? So. Who'd live in the Peak District, eh? This is a spot I love to come to. Monster Led. Um, <clears throat> it's lovely when it's quiet. There's a nice pub over there actually, at the Stables Bar. Do nice food. In the summer it's always packed. Not this summer I guess. Yeah, it's lovely to have her out. Out of the garage. Finally. I don't know if I'll be going far today. It's just nice to be out. Peace and quiet, nobody about. Its commanding view was once dominated by the Midland Railway Line, which ran from 1863 to 1968, connecting London and Manchester. Couple of cups of tea down. Probably still here, 45 minutes, probably a bit more. Amazing. Don't we'll go up that way. See where we end up. It should have uh, warmed up a bit now. Well, it's definitely warmed up a bit. Eight o'clock. A cloud in the sky, folks. Folks, I've got a dilemma. So, if you're faced with this particular obstacle, do you, do you normally think, like, oh, no, I'm going to have to find an alternative? Or do you see it as a challenge? <sighs> I've just been for a walk up it. But yeah, normally, if it says road closed, I see it as a challenge, like, well, I'm sure I can get through there. So, I've just had a little walk up. It says there, no pedestrian access. I watched two pedestrians walk up, and then a cyclist goes straight over. Another sign there, no pedestrian access ahead. A bit further on, there's a sign that says, pedestrians this way. <laughs> so... Faced with a dilemma, do you think, oh, we'll tell you what, we'll have to turn around and go a different way? Or do you just think, ah, I'm going through? Well, I am going through. Half at roads fell away back here. I'll show you why. I'll show you why it's closed and why it's been closed for such a long time and all. Warmed up now. Can't believe it were minus three this morning. Yeah, hey, look, sign here. Pedestrians this way. Signs everywhere else saying no access. Oh yeah, look at that. All the road has collapsed. But anyway, saved a little bit of time, hasn't it? Not that we are short of time or anything like that. Lovely, just one other person. Oh, no, I shall stay at this side of the car park. Fantastic. There we go, folks. Let's have a little peace and quiet. Cheers,
folks. It's so nice to be able to be out. What a cracking day it's turning out to be. Well, just a steady ride for the first one. I'm going to go back home now. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching this first video back. I'd almost forgotten how to use my cameras. Let's hope, uh, let's hope we get back to some kind of normality soon, and uh, you know, be able to move freely again and travel, and you know, stay in hotels and go to restaurants, kiss each other. As you can tell, folks, I'm a, I'm a lover. I've got a lot of love to give, man. I don't like not being able to kiss and cuddle my friends. <laughs> Bike's catching me up. <laughs> Bush bag's catching me up. Let's go move on, Anna. Sorry, pal. <laughs> I'm dawdling a bit. He's right on my tail. That, my, that mountain bike is right on my tail. That's <laughs> brilliant. He's probably thinking, get out of my way, man. This is my favourite road. Yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below how you're all doing, where in the world you all are. How the lockdown is treating you. I hope uh, none of you are suffering too much. Mentally, financially, physically. Sending you all love. As I mentioned about the, um, the beginnings of the planning of USA 2.0. Leave some suggestions down there. It will help shape our tour. Like I say, it's way off yet, but the more work we put in now, the better it shall be. And as I said, on that note, I've now opened up the Patreon account, so if anybody feels like they want to help, or they've enjoyed the channel, or enjoying the channel, I love it, I love it dearly. Should you find yourself in a position where you want to help, oh my god. Oh dear. Oh dear. No chance. We're not fear that. <sighs> Thank you, mate. Oh dear, not arguing with him. <laughs> that mountain bike is still on my ass. <laughs> yeah, if you find yourself in a position or you've ever wanted to help the channel and contribute to the channel then then yeah i would appreciate it massively head over patreon.com slash richievida and i will thank you in advance again thank you for all the lockdown songs requests and comments and compliments much appreciated but yeah from me now nothing more to say than uh, welcome back everybody let's get busy let's get some more, let's get some more bloody work done and as always, what shall now be my new motto, be good, be careful, and be kind. <laughs>